guys could see that they are completely out of their eggs. Let me show you guys. This was the jewel of the clutch. This is what we wanted to hit. So right here, let's see, let's hope for some females. So right here we have a hypo 100% head puzzle. This happened to us last year with the same female. You never know, man. The odds might be in our favor, but yep. Because we're thinking we're gonna hit over 70 clutches, close to 80. I'm hoping, I'm hoping so. Holy hell, look at that clutch. And she's still going. Some Cypress, Fire, Batman. I mean, that's gonna just be freaking cool. What's up, YouTube? How is everyone doing today? Well, guys, as you guys can see in the title, man, we have another clutch, but also, man, we just hit another amazing puzzle clutch. And let me tell you guys, the odds were on our favor once again. I was only able to sex one because one of the snakes had already came out. These actually went like four days earlier, but we are gonna clean them up, sex them, and see what we got, and then pull this clutch out. But man, I am really excited because we were able to hit one of the snakes that we were trying to hit last year, but we totally missed the odds. But the only thing that came, the only thing that sucked about it is that it came out to be a female, and we were hoping, hoping for it to be a male. But other than that, though, I mean, you guys will see the odds, man, and it was amazing, amazing, amazing. So let's get to it right now. All right, so here it is, and you guys could see that they are completely out of their eggs. There's one already in the um, in the tub over there in the snake room, but we're about to get all these guys out real quick and then sex them and see what we got. All right, what's up, Turtle McGirdle? Hey, what's going on? Nothing much, big homie. And this cut should be ready to cut any day now. I'm just waiting for one of them to pip out and then boom, I'm ready to just cut them. This is gonna be a freaking banger right here though. So um, let's close this up. All right guys, so the pairing to this clutch was a hypo puzzle male to a pastel double head hypo puzzle. And I'm telling you guys, like I was telling you earlier that the odds again were in our favor. Um, I've only had one come out already, the egg, and the one that already came out, but that one's already tended to bend. So let me get these guys ready. But as you can see, man, we have some beautiful stuff. I'll let Turtle film some of that stuff and do a little talking while I get the other one ready. There's a nice little close up of all the babies. All right, so usually I always save the last one for last. Um, the best one for last, sorry about that. But since this one came out already, we already washed her up. Let me show you guys. This was the jewel of the clutch. This is what we wanted to hit. But look at this, man. Pastel Hypo Puzzle female. She is so freaking beautiful. We were just hoping this was gonna be a boy, man. But makes me think, like, could you imagine making a vanilla or a firefly puzzle? That'd be pretty sick. But yeah, okay, so we have a female right here. And let's start off with all the puzzles, which there's two more. So let me go wash these out real quick. So everything here is gonna be 100% head hypo or 100% head puzzle if we don't hit anything visual. So right here, let's see, let's hope for some females, some big girls or some big snakes right here. All right, female, look how big this snake is. So freaking big, so beautiful. So that right there is a puzzle. 100% hit hypo, and we have another one right here. Again, man, these are really, really big. Another female, so three females. All right, so then let's move to these hypos. Let me clean them up. Man, it is so hot over here, man. It is so freaking hot. I'm telling you, even the water when we turn it on, it's like the water comes out really warm. We're about 100 and, uh, what is it, 103 degrees out here. It's still hot. I know guys, but you know some people are still in hotter places, but for us, that's super hot. I know it's supposed to get to like 105, 107 next week. So right here we have finally a male. Right here we have a hypo 100% head puzzle. That's one right there. And let's do this one. So far we have three females, one male, and another female. Nice. All right, so this is the last one. And right here we just have a pastel double hit hypo puzzle. But as you guys can see, man, we had three visual hypos. Uh, well, one hypo puzzle, two puzzles, 100% hit hypos, one pastel double hit hypo, and two hypo, 100% hit puzzles. So man, that's pretty good. You guys can't beat those odds. But again, let me wash this up. All right, so Turtle, what do you think this is? I'm gonna say it's a male. I'm gonna say it's a female. A male. Dang, I, you Dang. popped it over there, huh? No, I didn't, not at all. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna get a whole egg box ready and we're gonna show you the clutch that we have that doesn't look too good, but she did the same thing last year and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, but let me get these guys put away. All right, guys, so we're gonna do this a little bit different. We're not gonna be using no easy hatch trays. 
I'll tell you guys why we're not gonna use that in a bit. I was gonna put two scoops right here. I did this a few times already, man. It worked out perfectly fine, but I'll tell you guys why I don't wanna use Easy Hatch trays. Oh my gosh, this is gonna make me sneeze. Okay, let me fill this up with water. All right, so same thing. We have this full of, full, full of water all the way to the top. And then what we're gonna do is just put in another two cups and just leave it like that. This will kind of, you know, work as our little base, like if we had some Easy Hatch trays. But there's only a few eggs in there, and well, let me go show you guys what I'm talking about, because this happened to us last year with the same female, so I don't know if it's just a coincidence or what happened, but <sighs> here it is. So we have a fire red stripe, and she was bred to a sunset male, and as you can see, there is a one slug right there, and to be honest, everything looks like if there's slugs. That's about two or three good eggs, but she did this last year where she had eight eggs, six of them were slugs, and two of them were good eggs. So I think she did the same thing. So we'll find out right now. I'll like take this beautiful girl out. So hopefully, I mean, we get lucky because it did happen with my cypress as well. And I only had three eggs and I was able to hit two cypress, 100% head sunset. So you never know, man. The odds might be in our favor, but yep. This does not look too promising. Look at that. She's completely empty, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six slugs, man, and three good eggs. So we're gonna put these, let me just mount this up a little bit more. Just kinda dip them in, get these out. I hope out of these three eggs, we're able to hit one red stripe fire or red stripe 100% head sunset. It'd be cool if it were to be a male, but I mean, at this point, we're willing to take a female anyway, so. All right, let's get her back. All right, guys, so let's hope we have something here. Uh, here we go. This egg looks perfect. This one looks perfect as well. And this one looks perfect as well. Awesome, so we're gonna mark them down and then get all the information, and we are good to go. I believe this is our clutch number 18 yes 18 right yeah so that means we have 54 females to go because we're thinking we're gonna hit over 70 clutch is close to 80 i'm hoping i'm hoping so all right turtle your turn so as i'm filming right now you know i'm going through some of the females that i was going to talk about on what's what's next to lay and check this beautiful beautiful clutch out man we're not going to be pulling it out on this one but man this is so sick turtle I was just searching and I mean, well not searching, but I was just looking at some clutches. Uh -huh. Well, some females are due and yeah. the Batman went. <gasps> so check this out, guys. Pastel Batman. Holy hell, look at that clutch. Oh my God, yes. And she's still going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. And this girl right here, again, this is a pastel Batman. She was bred to a fire cypress clown. So we're hoping right there just to hit some Cypress Batmans, some Cypress Fire Batmans. I mean, that's gonna just be freaking cool. All right, so let's get back to this clutch and I'm still gonna be looking at some other stuff, but man, this is so exciting. That's clutch number 19. Patchy, I bet you're happy, huh? It's getting hot outside. Go ahead, where you at? <clears throat> All right, so we have to do a little adjustments real quick, but we will be cutting that clutch hopefully soon. Should just cut it now. Good. Cut it tomorrow. All right. So turn it around. I think we're right there on the bottom, big homie. Eight. Oh wait. What are you waiting for? Let's say what's up to handsome. What's up, handsome? Yeah, this is always in the bad mood. All right, guys. So we have clutch 18 already down. So, I know this vlog was a little short, but as always, you guys know that I want to put some content up there for you guys and just share every clutch, every, yeah, everything every, going every on clutch, this. every eggs that we're going to be cutting, <laughs> everything, everything, everything. So, now I'm going to go get ready. I have to film pointing out that Batman so I can put up on my Spanish channel, you know, show him some love as well. But I will be cutting the next clutch on this channel. So, guys, again, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.